In addition to finding slope using rise over run, we can find the slope by hand using our math skills by using the slope formula. I put quotes around formula because sometimes formulas can make things more confusing than they actually are. So given that, we're going to go through all of this really quickly and don't feel bad if you get confused because we're going to work real hard to make sense of all this mumbo jumbo. And here we go. Given any two points, x1, y1, and x2, y2, we can find the slope by using the equation m equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. And this basically means that the slope, or m, is the change in y divided by the change in x, or rise divided by run. Rise over run. What? That's exactly the same thing we talked about last lesson. Exactly. Check this out. If we have two points and we find our slope the old-fashioned way, rise over run, that would be 1, 2, 3, 4 over 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We'll get a slope of m equals 4, 6. Next, let's use our slope formula and see what happens. Basically, our slope formula is saying m equals y2 minus y1 subtracting the y's divided by x2 minus x1 or subtracting the x's. That's going to be m equals our y's subtracted from one another. That's negative 1 minus 3 divided by our x's subtracted, that's going to be negative 2 minus 4. Simplifying that out, we're going to get negative 4 over negative 6, which, since we have a negative over a negative, those cancel each other out, which gives us a positive 4 over 6. Exactly the same thing we got doing rise over run. The best way I've found to think of the slope formula is subtracting the y's, the change in y, divided by the subtraction of the x values, or the change in x. Let's do a couple quick examples so I can go eat dinner. I mean, so we can all expand our knowledge of the universe. Okay, so we want to find the slope of each line given the two points. First, we've got the point 12, 10, and 2, 0. Remember, our m is going to equal the subtraction of our y values, or 10 minus 0, divided by the subtraction of our x values, 12, minus 2. We can simplify that to m equals 10 divided by 10 or just m equals 1. So this, the line that has these two points has a slope of 1. Next we've got the points negative 3, 4 and negative 1, negative 5. Same thing. Our m is going to equal the subtraction of our y values 4 minus negative 5 4 minus negative 5. Really important, make sure if you have a negative to include both the minus and the negative. A lot of people just put 4 minus 5, but here we have 4 minus negative 5. Then we want to divide by the subtraction of our x values, negative 3 minus negative 1. Negative 3 minus negative 1, let's simplify. That's going to give us 4 minus negative 5, that's 4 plus 5, or 9 and negative 3 minus negative 1, that's negative 3 plus 1, or negative 2, and we'll get a final answer that's already simplified and a slope of negative 9 halves.